Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a wrap up of my no buy and also just kind of an update on my inventory numbers and how it's looking after I did my first couple of SAS hauls. So if you guys didn't know, I have been on a no buy since, since April 15th, I think. I went April through May and then to June, right before SAS. I was just trying to kind of keep my collection low, only buy replacements. Um, I was on a no buy for makeup, body care, candles, and skincare and hair care. So all those categories, I was pretty much on a no buy unless I was replacing stuff. So I'm just kind of kind of review how that went. Um, I think it went really well. I did amazing on body care. Um, I did break once, which is in my like other update. Um, I did break to buy like a, I had a coupon for free body care and so I picked it up in store and you have to order some sort of amount of money to pick up in store so I ordered like a two dollar pocket back so I did break that to buy two pocket backs to do two online orders for free coupons but besides that I didn't break my no buy for any other body care uh, or candles from Bath and Body Works I only replaced makeup and um, skincare and hair care so I'm just gonna review my numbers from the end of May and like what I've done so far in June. So if you guys don't know, I have already done two different hauls for SAS and I did buy some stuff. So let's review body care first. So at the end of, um, well actually on May 1st, I had 86 body care items and on June 1st, I had 76, so I had reduced that by 10. And so far in June, I have bought 16 body care items and that includes hand soaps so i did buy six hand soaps at sas just to last me until the end of summer so that kind of put a dent in it i also bought some full-size body care so i bought two full-size body washes i bought three pocket backs um, i bought two body creams one lotion one hand cream one mini body care item and six hand soaps. So I increased my collection by 16 so far in June, um, which I'm really not too mad about because I knew I was gonna buy stuff at SAS. I'm actually surprised that I didn't buy as much as I thought I would. And that I kept to kind of buying things that I need, which body creams I don't actually have a lot of and these are the two that I just picked up. So happy that I was showing like a little bit of self-restraint. I think even after that no buy, I was still kind of in the mentality of do you need it? Do you really need it? Um, so I think I did pretty well so far in SAS um, for body care. So that's where that's at. And I did just do an updated body care collection pre-SAS and I'll do one after SAS, probably at the end of July or early August um, before fall starts, just so you guys can see where my collection's at after SAS. I'm gonna keep trying to use up stuff um, as I'm going. But that's it for body care. I feel pretty comfortable with where I'm at. Um, for reference right now, I have um, 92 body care items in my collection. I started off the year at 104, which is weird that I feel better about my collection now than I did then because, let's see, in about April, I'm back to like where I was in April with buying all those new things. So I really don't feel too bad. Um, I feel like it's at a manageable level. I definitely wanna get through a lot of um, lotions uh, shower gels and a few body creams before I start buying stuff for fall but I feel pretty comfortable with where I'm at so that's it for body care for candles um, so so far I bought two candles at SAS champagne toast and tis the season and I'm pretty comfortable with that I feel like that's really good I limited myself to four candles so if I want to buy some more later if I find 75% off or maybe if I find like those little tester candles I can do that um, but I only bought two so far um, and I also uh, have already used up one candle in June. Um, in May I bought one candle and I decreased my collection by six so I used up six candles last month which is crazy amazing. Um, and then for wallflowers I just bought two at SAS. I bought Mary Mimosa and Snowy Peachberry. I am looking for more um, if I find them at like a 75% off price um, later in SAS, but 
So far I've bought two um, wallflowers and my collection was at zero wallflowers. We had used all of them that I owned. So now I only have two. And I did pick up one car fragrance refill, Sunwash Citrus at SAS. Um, so currently I have two car fragrance refills in my collection. I did use up one this month. Um, and that's pretty much it for candles slash like home fragrance. So doing pretty good. I did just use up a wax melt um, and I probably will have a few more empties of those um, in the next month, but I'm not really counting my wax melt collection because I'm pretty new to that and I feel like I have it in a manageable um, place where I don't really have to track it. Um, so that's that for, um, for home fragrance. For makeup, um, I've been doing pretty good. I've been like steadily decreasing my collection by like using up things. So last month I finished off a foundation, a concealer, um, and I bought a new brow product because I was out of brow gel. And yeah, so I am currently at 144 makeup products and at the beginning of the year I was at 154. I'm not really like too worried about my makeup collection. I feel like it's at a good place right now where I have a good handle on it, so that's really good. Um, for reference on candles, if you guys are curious, um, I have 23 right now, and I started off the year at 42, so I decreased my collection by half, basically, which is so amazing to me. I'm gonna keep using up candles and try to get as low as I can before I start buying for fall. Um, for skincare, so far, um, last month, I only used up one sheet mask. <laughs> so that's all the numbers for last month. And um, this month I did buy three sheet masks and I bought a exfoliator. I actually bought a BHA um, like toner thing. I bought the uh, Paula's Choice BHA, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a toner. Um, so that was like technically not part of the no buy. That I technically broke my no buy to buy that. Um, it hasn't really done anything yet for my texture on my skin. So I'll, I'll let you guys know if it works, but um, that's the number so far and I've already used up one of the sheet masks that I bought. <laughs> so, uh, my collection for, uh, at the start of June was 36 comparing to, I started off the year at 51 products. So I've been doing very good with, um, my skincare with just using up stuff steadily and not buying more than what I need. I've been actually keeping a really good tabs on my skincare collection. So I'm loving that. For hair care last month, I used up a leave-in conditioner. I bought a new heat product and I used up a heat product, so it just was a replacement. Um, I did buy a new curly hair product. It was the same thing that I had finished, which is a hair mousse, but it came in a pack of two, so technically I increased my collection by one for that. And I finished up a um, like scalp care product and I bought a new scalp care, scalp care product. It's the Living Proof Scalp Oil, I think is what it's called. Um, so I repurchased that one. Um, for this month, I used up my shampoo and I just bought a new shampoo. And then I also used up my scalp scrub um, from Love Beauty and Planet. It's a charcoal scalp scrub and I just purchased a new one. So currently my uh, hair care collection is at 29 products and at the beginning of the year I was at 47. So I've been doing also really, really well with my hair care. I feel like that's another part of my collection that I can just keep reducing and not buying more than I need. So that's in a really good place. I'm feeling like really nice about my numbers that I've like been tracking them for the first six months of the year. Like I feel actually very in control of my collection right now, which is a really big thing. And I know a lot of people feel sometimes that their stuff is out of control and I totally understand that. I'm gonna put on some hand cream while I'm talking because my hands are really dry. Um, but it's totally understandable to feel overwhelmed with your collection. And if you're feeling that way, I highly recommend tracking it. I will leave this, um, it, I'm just using a Google Excel spreadsheet. I think it's called a Google Sheet. Um, to track everything and I actually got the template from my friend here on YouTube Ashley Nicole I will link mine down below as well as her channel so you can follow her um, because she's the one who inspired me to start um, Keeping track of my collection like this through a spreadsheet. I thoroughly enjoy it And I don't know what I'm doing in Excel. So if I can do it, you can do it I just keep tra tabs on thing things. I don't do like the formulas or anything. So sorry if my um, my spreadsheet is not like crazy amazing I just based it off of increase, decrease, and overall totals. Um, so it's something too fancy. 
but I definitely recommend um, like keeping track of everything that you have in your collection if you're feeling overwhelmed because that definitely helped me as well as doing some project pans. So I do do, I do do a candle project pan called Project Wax. And in that one, I'm just trying to use up and reduce my collection of candles, which has really helped me, as you guys saw, reduce it by half. And then I do have a Project Use It Up in which I use up a bunch of body care. This is just one of the items I just hauled from SAS, but um, I use up a bunch of body care and I'm actually about to introduce my summer project um, of what I wanna finish up. So that's just like a little rundown of, um, of the kind of things that I do to keep my collection under control, but I'm feeling at a really good place where I am right now with my collection. So yeah, very happy with where everything's at and I'm happy with all the new stuff that I got in the SAS and I didn't go like crazy overboard, so I feel really good about that. So that's the update for the month of June for my inventory and how my like um, no buy went. I think I'm gonna just stick to a no buy. I feel like I'm actually pretty good right now with um, what I got from SAS. Um, I will be looking for more wallflower refills and maybe more minis. Um, but that's about it that I'm looking for for the rest of SAS. I'll probably check back in a few times before the end. But um, I feel like I'm in a good place with most of my collection to where I can just stick on a low buy and I'll be pretty good. Only really buying replacements and maybe buying a few things here and there. So that's kind of what's going on for now. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.